So it all boils down to this, boys and girls. It's the final, or one of the final matches over in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. It is a biggie. It's Honduras. It's Qatar. Who goes through? Who goes home? We'll take a little look. Next. Hi right, folks, back once again with another 500 preview. Looking forward to Honduras against Qatar in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you been, boys? Smash your subscribe button. Keep your banger to all things Gold Cup related. Black and over selected. We've got it all here, boys. Ondo while Ruski's going to destroy. Really, I picked it up, actually. I've actually picked this match up a, a little bit bigger than it should be because Honduras are already through. They can afford to lose this one. As for Qatar, though, they need a win or a draw, and they'll go through and join Honduras into the latter stages. But they could actually go up as group winners. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Of course, big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. And if you're new, smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe, and get amongst it. So here we go. Five minute preview. Looking forward to Honduras against Qatar. So far, so good for Honduras. Qatar got a little bit of work to do up against the, uh, the BBVA Stadium on the 20th of July at 9 o'clock kickoff. Felix Sanchez up against Fabian Colto uh, in the dugouts. Who's going to come out top? Honduras, Qatar. We'll have a look at it. Of course, Sanchez uh, qualified. Is that right? Is that his name? It is his name. Of course, they are the guest nation. Of course, they secured the guest nation spot back in the 2nd of September 2020. Uh, they've been at the tournament just one time in the past. Then this is their debut. Uh, the current rank FIFA, uh, FIFA wise 58th in the world. Uh, the resume looks like this so far for a second spot in the, in the group. Four points out of a possible six. Of course, uh, started off with that 3 3 epic game against Panama uh, where they did were winning 3 1. Uh, but ultimately uh, threw away two points in the end. Then it took on Grenada and they smashed them 4-0. And of course taking on Honduras now to see if they can go through as group winners. Uh, of course, let's remind ourselves of, of course, the squad. Uh, for this one, of course, taking place on Tuesday night. Uh, everyone knows these guys, so uh, it's going to be uh, yeah, it's, it's just familiar names. That's all. Uh, here we go. Uh, between the sticks, we've got the likes of uh, Hassan and Al Shaib compete for the number one jersey. Uh, defense, we've got the likes of Hassan, Koda, Ahmed, and Roro, uh, wherever he may be. Sulalali. Mavido in midfield, of course, and the likes of Afif and Ali uh, and Mutari up top, of course, uh, trying to get the goals to get them through. Uh, let's take a look at my start line with a back three today. We've got Barsha between six, Hassan, uh, Salman, Kukui at the back there, Ahmed on the left, Uroa on the right, Budef, Hatim and Afif in midfield, Ali and Mutari up top in a 3 5 2. Let's take a look at Honduras then, of course, managed by Fabian Kuto, Call qualified to Concacaf Nations League, League A, Group C, first place team, qualified for 30th of October 2019. Been a tournament 21 times in the past, 2019 was the last runner up twice, uh, of course, currently. Ranked 67 according to the board of FIFA. Uh, their resume looks like this. Uh, top of Pops at the moment, 6 out of 6, scoring 7 to concede 2. Start off the campaign with a 4 0 win against Grenada, and of course, a bit of a thrill against Panama. 3 2 in the end. Just one goal shy of matching Qatar's 3 3 thriller over there. What about the older ros the roster for uh, Honduras then? Let's take a little look at it. Here we go. Of course, some familiar, familiar names in here. Some veterans as well. Uh, at the back there, we've got Luis Lopez between 6, uh, maybe Menjvar as well. Uh, Mega Mania uh, Figueroa, now Houston Dynamo, formerly Wigan, I believe. Uh, Johnny Leveron as well from Olympia. Yeah, uh, Brian Acosta from Dallas, uh, Bonoki Garcia from Uston Dynamo. Of course, up top we've got like Albert, uh, Albert Elise from Boa Vista over the Portuguese top flight. Uh, what about my starting line? We're going to go with a 4 3 3. We've got Lopez between six, Rodriguez, Figueroa, Alvarez, and Cristiano at the back right. Uh, Garcia, Flores, and Acosta in midfield. Lopez, Ellis, and Quinto, uh, Quintoto up top. Of course, that's my starting line. These two sides play each other never, never before. This will be the first and only time uh, they've ever played each other. Of course, coming into this, they're caught out and beaten in the last nine games for Honduras haven't lost in the last four though 58% uh, form for them 83% uh, form for Qatar as well did a bit of vote out there it is still very very early just a couple of hours ago uh, 99 people have voted 48% have gone with Qatar 43% have gone under us and 8% have gone draw it's very very even it's kind of Stevens at the moment uh, of course Qatar guest nation Honduras might fancy the chances on this one I don't even have bookies odds to even let you know about this one for me though this is this is a, 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 a benchmark benchmark match here probably one of the big ones as well Honduras again might play a weak inside even though they're through uh, to maybe rest up for the next round of course in the quarterfinals but I think they would want to land a favourable round uh, in this one so uh, it is tough it is tough Qatar though coming into this with that nine game unbeaten run looking very very good and they could be they could be the dark horse and no one really is expecting them of course the United States Canada Mexico have all had a little wobble here there and everywhere and maybe Qatar can come in and, and, and be the team that, uh, that surprises us all when you look at that it just says ho doesn't it it says H-O uh, but anyway for me I'm going to go with a 2-2 two -two draw I can't separate two sides, which will say, which will, if it was to end like this, you'll see Honduras go through as champions. It'll see Qatar go in as runners up, and of course, uh, Lande or Qatar. I'm sure for Qatar, maybe group winners of, of Group C, which could be Jamaica. It could be, uh, could be Costa Rica as well. So anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts as well as we look forward to this. So far, so good though for Qatar. Uh, of course, uh, surprising a lot of people along the way, but for me, I've not been surprised. I think I've been, I've been pleasantly satisfied by their performance, and I'm looking forward to their World Cup next year. Of course, this has all been about uh, their. 
they're hosting events, trying to get themselves uh, up to standard, up to speed, and, and I think the manager that they have at the moment is doing just that. Let's show you the video some love smash that thumbs up, smash that subscribe, check out the links down below, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course Patreon. But until then, I'll see you soon. Of course, look forward to the quarterfinals, and these guys will be there, maybe. I'll tell you, I'll see you soon, and I'm